Hi Rebels! Welcome to Dial a Friend, where we answer big questions from girls like you. I'm Kehlani Jules, host of the Black Girls Code YouTube show, Code Along Junior. And today, we're talking about something you might be hearing a lot about. Artificial intelligence, also known as AI. AI is changing the way technology works, and it's important that we learn how to use it safely, responsibly, and creatively. In this three-part series, we asked girls from Black Girls Code what questions they might have about AI. Here to answer those questions is an expert on the subject. OpenAI Chief Financial Officer, Sarah Fryer. OpenAI makes ChatGPT, a super popular AI with some incredible abilities. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Hi, Kalani. I am so excited to be with you today. We're so glad you're here. Okay. We're gonna start with a question I have. How do you, Sarah Fryer, use ChatGPT? So I use AI all day, every day. I will have to admit, even before I joined OpenAI, I was a ChatGPT groupie. So I typically wake up in the morning and get a few tasks read out to me by ChatGPT. One is to check the news, which might sound a little boring, but I have to do that for my job. But then I also love to work out in the mornings. And so it gives me a little handy dandy 15 minute weightlifting routine so I don't get bored in weights after I've done some cardio. Um, I also love, love, love it for creating birthday cards and kind of birthday pictures. So for, um, I'll go to Valentine's Day actually. For Valentine's Day, I had a great pic of my son who's 18 and a soccer player and a really cute pic of my daughter who is just an amazing scientist and I was able to create cute little Valentine's cards that took those images and it looked like them, but personalized it. And they thought I was the best mom in the world. It's great. That's so creative. Okay, this next one I've been wondering about myself. Ellington from Detroit asks, how does AI come up with answers so quickly? Ellington, that is a good question too. It is fast, isn't it? AI is like a super fast reader and puzzle solver. It's read tons of books, websites, stories. It's watched videos on things that we as humans do. And so when you ask it a question that quickly finds patterns and pieces that it can put together to find the best answer. It's kind of like finishing a puzzle really fast because you've seen all the pieces before. Or if any of you play video games, you will know the first time you start playing a video game, right, you enter it and you don't quite know where say the treasure is. But by your third or fourth attempt, they just get faster and faster at going through each of the levels because in some ways they've seen it and done it before. Oh, getting familiar with a video game or a puzzle is a really helpful way to think about it. Our next question is from Anaya in the Bay Area. She asks, if people are training AI to be right, why does it still make mistakes? So AI is certainly not perfect. Um, it learns from a huge amount of information, as I said, like books and websites and pictures. But even all that info is imperfect or well, it's just not a right answer to things. This is actually why we want you to take the time in school to learn to think, not just to regurgitate so-called facts because those facts can change over time too. So even though we train it to get smarter and smarter, it can still end up repeating mistakes if it's seen errors in all of the data that it's taking in. So it would be kind of like teaching a robot to do old homework that has some wrong answers. It might accidentally think that those wrong answers are actually right and then keep telling you that this is how you do this like complicated math problem. And so over time, we need to train that out of the model and that's what we call reinforcement learning. That makes a lot of sense. Nazareth from Oakland was thinking about ChatGPT's answers too. Her question was, why does AI give me different answers when I ask the same question multiple times? So I actually love this about AI. So having grown up in the world of kind of the internet and software, the way it was programmed, there is a sense that you'll always get kind of the same answer because um, that's probably how the developer or the software engineer programmed it. But AI is built completely differently. It's built to be really flexible and creative and think a lot more the way we think as human beings. So that means it can give you different versions of an answer, especially for really open-ended questions. So one thing, you know, if I were to ask you today, Nazareth, what's your favorite snack? Depending on how you're feeling, the answer might be ice cream 
or it might be, in my case, salt and vinegar chips. And that's what AI is doing. Um, it's taking different paths to get there, and that's often why you'll see the same question of multiple different types of answers, but hopefully they should all be leading to somewhat the same outcome. That's really cool. It's helpful to understand how AI comes to each of its answers. Thanks for breaking all this down for us, Sarah. I'm feeling more empowered already. In our next episode, we're going to talk about using AI safely. We'll cover things like, what does AI know about me and what information is okay to share? All that and more on our next episode of Dial a Friend with Sarah Fryer. Tune in next time and stay rebel.